Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Wire Season 1, épisode 13, the last one of this season 1. We're gonna end the season 1. That's it. If you are wondering, yes, I'm gonna react to the season 2. I hope that it's gonna be like for the season 1. Okay, a little rough, you know, to edit these videos for the YouTube version, but still, okay, you know, as long that you are working enough on it, it's functioning. Wish me luck for that, you know, for the season 2, but yes, I will react to it no matter what. That's for something, you know. This is the last episode of this season 1. And I'm really stressed before beginning it, you know, I should be excited like that. It's, it's so great, we progressed so much, we arrested so many people, we stopped that business and all. It's great and even, you know, with the drug dealers and all of that, some of the guys that we love, like D for example, he stood up for Wallace and it can be great, but you know, they, they killed Wallace. And it's not like Evan and Stringer who killed Wallace, it was his two best friends who killed him. The other two, you know, that I, sh I could have hoped, you know, for them to be okay at the end, okay to still be into the business and all because this is all of their lives and all of that. But they were not that much into it yet, they were not like Webay being okay to kill little man just like that, doing all of this bad stuff. No, so... I had some hope for them, but they killed Wallace. But yes, Dee stood up for Wallace and he doesn't want to be a part of any of that anymore. Okay, he was arrested, but maybe at some point he's gonna say the truth to the cops. I, at least that's what I hope. We'll see about it. They arrested Avon, that's great, they don't have a lot against him and I think that he's already free again with a bracelet, that's bad. They didn't have Stringer and for me it can mean that in the future Stringer is gonna be the one ruling the business. You know what I think about the guys in the beginning of this season, the fact that he has that potential, you know, to be the true leader and I know Ivan, he couldn't go on the battlefield like Stringer because he needed to stay clean, you know, in a way to, to not be taken just like that by the cops. But still, I think that Stringer, with how he's thinking, with what he's anticipating each time and all, I think that he has what that kind of business needs, you know, to, to have a true real boss. So maybe that can be one of the things at the end of this season and it can prepare, you know, the season two. If not that, I think that all of the money situation is going to be one of the big things of the season two. We saw during the previous episode that some of the political guys that were not that happy, you know, to have these cops searching for the money, for bad money you know that maybe they had as donations and all of that all of these guys you know coming being like i'm clean i'm really clean maybe some of these things are not right take them back you know but me i'm clean really i didn't know about it at all that can be one of the narrative arcs maybe of the next season of the season two that or maybe stringer taking back the business but for me, even all of these guys, they are done. We still need to find a way to have Bay, we Bay, who want on Philly. But if D is, you know, switching truly, maybe he can say the truth to the cops. It would be great. We'll see about it. Little man is already dead. We don't miss a lot of things, you know, to, to have that case being fully closed. So that's why I think that it's going to be the case during this final episode. But it's the final episode, it's a long one. We already lost Wallace during the previous one. I'm a little afraid for someone else to die during this one. 
Kima is gonna come back, at least, no, she's not gonna come back, you know, like, she's not gonna be back at our job during this episode, and I love this show for that, for making stuff realistic, and yes, she was badly injured, she's still unconscious, she's gonna wake up, okay, but she's not gonna come back just like that. But I'm afraid for one of the other cops, you know, to get badly injured or to get killed. I'm afraid for maybe one of the drug guys, you know, that we appreciate to be hurt or to be killed. Like D, I want him to switch. I want him to say the truth. I think that the writers, since the beginning of this season, they put a lot of things on D. They made him one of the most interesting characters because they went really deep with him. The fact that he had regrets, that he wanted to change, but he knows that he can't. He wanted to get higher in the business, but he can't. They are not trusting him enough. His issues, you know, with his woman. Like, they put so many things on D. And right there, the fact that until the end, he protected Wallace and knowing that Wallace was killed, he stood up for him and it's the switch for him to, to not want Stringer to help him to, to really want his way out of this organization. It's so great, but can you really get out of that kind of organization? If Avon is okay or just if Avon is in jail, I think that Stringer is gonna decide to to kill D in jail, you know, he can be killed in jail. I'm a little afraid of that. I'm still afraid for Bubs and Omar, even if we didn't see Omar during the two previous episodes, even if we didn't see Bubs during the previous one and during the other ones, he was clean and he made me proud and I was so glad for him that he has that new life and all, but still, you know, final episode, so I'm still like that about Bubs and Omar. You know how much I love these two, that they are my two favorite characters of this show. I love the other ones, even if, like I said, they have their issues, they have their bad sides, and sometimes I can be really mad at them. But this show is that great that even if I'm so mad at them, I still appreciate these characters. And it's not only because they are cops, because I feel the same. For D, I felt the same for Wallace. I felt a little the same also for Preston, so that's why I'm disappointed that he killed his friend. But see, uh, I can have still feelings like that for for the other guys. I can love them, and even you know Stringer or Weebay who did bad stuff and all, I still love them as characters. They are so great. I love them also for that. So yes, final episode of this season and I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed for everyone. I'm stressed also for Shardin, you know, the stripper, because maybe they can suspect her and we know that she's connected to D. D, if he learns, you know, what happened to Shardin, if she would be killed or just maybe if he would learn that she was a snitch, I don't know, there are a lot of possibilities around the girl, but <laughs> I'm not too sure of it. Oh, I'm stressed. I'm just stressed as hell. I'm almost like, that's it. I want this season to end because I'm pretty sure that a lot of things are gonna end, you know, with this final episode. So, you know, I'm gonna begin the new season after that, being more relaxed, like, that's it. Let's put the new context. Let's create new things and all. Maybe... We're gonna meet new characters, but first, you know, we need to end all of these narrative arcs and I'm stressed for that. And again, we lost someone during the previous episode and it was not the final episode. So we can lose someone right there. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro right now. Let's go for this episode. Remember that on my Patreon you can have this episode earlier. On Patreon you have one episode of advance. And you have them also with an extended direction part. It's long episode and this one is really long. So I think that the extended direction part is going to be really longer. So if you want these advantages and if you want to support me, if you want and if you can, it can be appreciated. I'm a little reactor, so it could be great if you want and if you can. Come on, let's go for this episode. I'm strong, I'm brave. 
Maybe I'm gonna cry, but I'm gonna survive. <laughs> really? Me? All of the days of my life. <laughs> Let's go. Nah, you're pointing at them. You're not letting her. I can make little You don't have weapons? You're gonna ask her to lie? We tracked their escape route. At last we came up with their hoods. A DNA matched human hair from one of the hoods to we pick. An ID of both your shoes. We'll play a whole lot easier come trial. You're not gonna lie. Where are we? It's a mug? Yeah, it's... I mean... Yes, for... for okay. Damn, man. It's just... It's still You're in your office. No. You all that paranoid? You ain't even no, he is. The longer we hold on, the harder it's gonna be for us to maintain the towers. You wanna get back up? You need to be in strength here. Nah, I ain't down yet. Well, we need to step back. Until you fix, sis gonna handle that money, I'm gonna handle that products. We here for you. Both of you? About my nephew. Don't try. Do what needs to be. Um, sorry for putting him out there like that. And then I'm gonna make it up to him. Oh, his mom, maybe okay. she can make, make him you. come back oh, to the organization. His name is Brandon Wright. Brandon broke fingers, gaps, and I have all kinds of fun. Honest with the one who saw him. So, you throw a box away, then you call Stringer and Stringer. He gathered the troops. You're gonna have Stringer sex to that. Stringer, he's all worried about Wallace, and I told him. He said, Wallace, you know, snitch. Plus, he's out the fucking gate. The one you killed. The girl you killed. She's on her uncle's girls. Yeah, but we got people put you with her unless she's killed. Yeah, I didn't know you was gonna do that. You did it, D. My uncle gave me a bottle of coke. Told me to take it over there to her. So, yeah, we may take me over there. I walked up, knocked on the door, she came to the door, all naked and shit with this little ass robe on. So, I gave her a coat. She laughs about how she's gonna put that shit on ice later on. Refrigerated. So I turned around, started walking back to the truck, and I heard this shot. We day he come running back with this big ass 45 he liked to use so much. He was bragging he about truck. it? Uh, but I believe that version, he didn't do it. I don't understand, man. I don't get it. Explain. 
You could have walked in this shit. My grandfather was Butch Stanford. You know who Butch Stanford was in this town? Mm-hmm. All my people, man. My father, my uncles, my cousins. It's just what we do. What are you looking for? I want it to go away. I can't. I want what Wallace wanted. I want to start over. I don't care where, anywhere. A witness. I just want to go somewhere where I can breathe like regular folk. Give me that. And I'll give you that. I want that for you. I swear to you, I want that. No, we crazy. saw that. It's a great case. I mean, not just because of Greg, it's because it, it goes to that and answers that, but because, because of how deep it goes. Jesus, I feel like I've been drunk ever since that kid started talking to us. I get a drive. <laughs> She is excited. The adrenaline, you know. He wants to fuck you. How is looking at her? And she wants it too. Uptown Lester friend. Fuck me. How long has it been? You retired before I was. Ooh. We need to try to trace. But not in Maryland. Pennsylvania. Philly. Well, we got to go through them. This week they tell us it can't be done. And another week for their attorney, so okay, I'll subpoena. Plus, it's a little more complicated than just a straight up trace. Well, what's the number? Drug lawyer, downtown office. Thought Bill would be the place to look. If we can do it, and I'm not saying we can't. It's going to be a fucking week, maybe two. Isn't this supposed to be the time you tell me how all the and fucking important this is? <laughs> to push it more? The Philly number gives us the mope who shot that female undercover. That's more than just fucking important. If you can help us squeeze a Barksdale kid into a witness protection program, we can run wild. No suppliers, though. We're still looking for a way in there. To run with you on this, we need to recognize OC target. Or even better, a connect to counterterrorism or corruption. What kind of corruption? Hello? What kind of you got? As a political one. How are you very much the live all witness? Hmm? Bad as any civilian. Where are we at? With what? With the case, Paul. It's good. Jesus, give her a rest. Tell her, she needs to know. She deserves to know. Yeah, we lost the wire, but the good news is the angle is flipped. We're talking to the feds about that. All of that case put her into that bed. Ah. You're gonna lose something. She says ain't nothing like this. She do what she needs to. But she's right. It wasn't worth it. But it's our job. She loves it, you know. Anyway, it took you so long getting up in here. Shit, no cards, no flowers. Mm. I felt uh, when a case like this, it's always you or Sidney or some other black cop who ends up going undercover. I swear, if I could do it over. Jimmy. She would do the same. You know what I do? If I want to take my fucking gun. I'm sorry, Kima. Anyway, since I got you up in here, <laughs> maybe you can do something for me. Bubs. You said you were doing good. You said she was proud of you. How's she doing? You're still good, you're still clean, alright? Please, 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 please. But she wanted you to have that. I told her to tell you. She's sorry you're late with it. <laughs> good, that's so talk. You know? Yes. This is enough. This is enough for what I got going on now, man. You know what I mean? You can give us back to her. Give her my love. Bab, you. Have you 
造。After everything that happened to Kima, who was helping him and all, for sure it made him go back. And even you know if it wouldn't have happened, you know, to Kima, maybe he would have go back. He's a drug addict. It's normal. But I really want him to get better and to get clean. Maybe it was not the, the good time. It was the first time, maybe the second time it's gonna be the good one, okay? I'm sorry, I felt so sad, I can't come back to the episode just like that. I was so worried for him, you know, to get killed. I didn't think about him just getting back on drugs and me being so disappointed and so sad for him. But still, I feel proud of him. If he did it once, he can do it twice and that time it's gonna be the good time. Shut the fuck up into my mind. You know, it's what's gonna happen. You know, maybe we're not gonna see him again during the season 2 or whatever. Right there, it's gonna happen, it's gonna succeed.